Anytime that we move, rotate, or scale a 3D model or object in Blender, it's called a transformation. There are three different types of transformation that you can execute on any object in Blender. The first of those is a translation. A translation is when an object changes position. So if I have a cube here, and the cube moves all the way to over here, that is a translation. The next transformation is a rotation. A rotation is when an object changes its orientation. So say we have a cube here. If this cube all of a sudden rotates to its side or rotates across a different axis, that is called a rotation. The last transformation is a scale. A scale occurs when an object either becomes bigger or smaller. So say we have a small cube here and all of a sudden this cube inflates in size. Now this is a significantly larger cube and it has scaled up. Also, we can scale it back down so it's significantly smaller. So, we have translations, rotations, and scales. I'm going to show you guys how to perform all three of these transformations in Blender. So, as you can see here, I currently have the cube in the center selected. And when I do have a 3D object selected, it has these three arrows coming out of it. A blue arrow, indicating the z-axis, a green arrow, indicating the y-axis, and a red arrow, indicating the x-axis. If we click and drag on any of these arrows, you can see that our cube begins to move along that axis. So right now, I clicked on the red arrow and I'm moving my mouse back and forth. You can see that the cube is moving across the x-axis. Likewise, if we click on the green arrow and drag, our object will move across the y-axis. And if we click the blue arrow and drag, our object will move across the z or up and down axis. Since the position of our cube is changing, this means that our cube is undergoing a translation. So that is how we moved our cube, but now let's try and move something different. I'm going to select my lamp up here in the upper right, and I'm going to move it across the z-axis by grabbing this blue arrow and dragging it up and down. You can see that our lamp indeed does move across the z-axis. If I change perspectives by orbiting around, you can see this movement a little bit better. Now, these arrows are great and are a fantastic visual representation, especially for beginners. But as you become more experienced, you'll have to rely on hotkeys a lot more, especially in a software like Blender that is almost entirely hotkey based. So I want to teach you guys the hotkeys for these transformations as we go along with them. In the case of a translation, the hotkey is G, as in giraffe. So if I press G, and you can see down in the lower left of my viewport here that I did press G, I can move my mouse around and our object will move with our mouse. If I click, left click that is, um, you can see our object gets set in place and it no longer moves along with the mouse. So G is the hotkey for translations, which I like to think of it as G for grab because you're grabbing it and you're moving it to a different place. Next, let's look at how we can rotate objects. In order to rotate an object, we first need to come down here to this bottom bar of our 3D viewport and click this little arc. This arc will change the transform manipulators, which are these um, graphics that surround our cube, to the rotation uh, graphics, so that we can indeed rotate our cube. So now, if we click and drag on any of these colored arcs, you can see that we can rotate our cube along a certain axis. So right now, it's rotating along the x-axis. If I click and drag on the blue axis, it'll rotate across the z-axis. And if I do the same for the green, it'll rotate across the y-axis. Additionally, we have this outer ring, and if we choose this outer ring, we can rotate the cube from the perspective that we're looking at it from. Again, this graphic is great for beginners, but it's still very important to know the hotkeys. So the hotkey for rotation is, as you would guess, R. R for rotate. If I press R in the 3D viewport, immediately we begin rotating the cube if I move my mouse, and we rotate it around from the direction that we are looking at the cube from. The last transformation we can execute is a scale. So we can change our transform manipulators, these colorful lines here, into the scaling manipulators by clicking down here on this little line with a block at the end. You can see now that our 3D cube gets a block in each axis, and if we click and drag on these blocks, we can scale the cube up in any direction. And just as before, the hotkey for scale is what you'd guess as well, it is the S key. So if I press S and move my mouse around, you can see that our cube begins scaling on a uniform axis, meaning everything is scaling equally in all directions. So, a reminder, G is to grab the object and translate it, R is to rotate the object, and S is to scale the object. 
So now that you know the three transformations that we can do in Blender, I encourage you to try it out on your own. Try and move the cube to different places on the grid floor. Rotate it so maybe a different side faces upwards, or scale it so it's way bigger than everything else in your scene. Additionally, you can try moving around different objects. Maybe make the cube very big and place the camera and the light inside of the cube. That'd be interesting. So go ahead and try some of those things out. Once you're done, come into Blender, click File, New, and click the Reload Startup File option here so you can reset your Blender file back to its default. Then you can move on to the next video.